Today, the chief petition of the censure motion, John Amos Okot, MP of Agago North, tabled the motion before Parliament. Before tabling the motion, Deputy Speaker Thomas Taiwa read a letter Namuganza wrote to Speaker Anita Monk asking her to stop the House from discussing her issues because they are in court. Taiwa also read a Mongo's response to Namuganza. Mr. Tambre informed you that the matter is subjudice and also to request you to prevail over the parliament of Uganda, bracket, staff, and all the members of parliament, to desist, refrain themselves, and restrain them from discussing, debating, executing, and deliberating on the plans to implement the recommendation to commence my censure as a minister of state so that the courts of law are given the opportunity to decide the suit and promote the rule of law. Taiwa allowed Okot to table his motion before Parliament, which was adopted by most of the members who were in the sitting. Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development. Just like you have quoted, I move under rules under Articles 118 of the Constitution of the Republic of Uganda, Uganda as amended 1995, and rules 106 and 109. Honorable Princess Namboganza, Princess, made statements about Parliament in the media and social media attacking the operations of Parliament. Now, therefore, be it resolved that Parliament passes a vote of censor against Honorable Princess Namboganza, Princess, the State Minister for Lands, Housing and Urban Development on grounds of misbehavior and mis misconduct. A court highlighted a number of issues that should see Namuganza censured. We had been open up to the criticism, abuse, arrogancy, and many other things on the media. Not only to the media, attacks of personality. And all along, Mr. Speaker, you know we live in this country and we live with the community where even Honorable Person Navoganza is living. Taiwa guided the House that according to the rules of Parliament, the censure motion should not be debated until the President is notified about it within 72 hours. After 30 days, according to Taiwa, a select committee will be selected to investigate Namganza's conduct and be given a chance to defend herself. Resolution of censure shall not be debated until the expiry of 30 days after the petition was sent to the President. So, the writing of the president, we shall be serving the Honorable Namuganza through the president. So the, ro the, ro the role of the president at this stage is to inform his minister. The reason being, you might look for the minister to serve and you don't get her. Some of the MPs who seconded the motion say Namuganza does not deserve to be a minister. That shows a sign that the minister in question has no values of being a humble leader. And she lacks humility as one of the key values of a leader. But Mr. Speaker, sir, this is not by surprise. The minister in question, when I was a youth chairman of Busia district, she was a secretary for female youth for her district. And the character she's exhibiting now was the same character she used to exhibit. We are not censoring her because of our personal and individual differences with other members. But we are looking at the parliamentary institutions and our conduct as the minister. This resolution follows recommendation from the Rules Committee that the state minister is censured for her role in the allegedly giveaway of Nakawa Naguru land. Sarah Nakandi for CTV, PM Edition.